away wanderers We've been here and we've been there You can do it today because I'm rubbing shit in my hands. Number 6, 007. Come with join us now. This adventure is starting to wind down as we head south and back home. Everyone does the radio check and we leave our camp on the gravel patch and start our way through Mount Augustus to Tamara Pool with a few creek crossings in between. This is what he's traversing. Right there. That front wheel. This particular creek crossing needed some direction as the original track was totally washed out. This side track was found and we were guided through. Looks like my joint. <laughs> Piano, piano. 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 That's slow. Yeah. <laughs>
So the boys have found this on the side of the track. That would be a horrible way to die. Get your foot stuck in that. Oh, it's still a bit smelly. Look at the teeth on it, eh? Yeah. We get through the final creek crossing, I glance in my mirror and it's another flat tyre on the trailer. Same one as before, front left. A few helpful hands make light work and I'm back on the track in no time. From here is a maintained gravel road all the way to Mount Augustus where we get fuel ice creams. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, so when you get to the town, you're not far away, just keep going straight. You'll see a sign that says camping area, follow that. It's a straightforward drive into Tamara Pool where you'll set up our camps for a cold night. It's called Tamara Pool. Um, it was quite cold last night. The pool really did creep out and come and grab the warmth from you. So it's an earlyish night. It's not going to be our last day today. We're going to start heading home. The crew here will hang around for another day or two. But uh, we feel we, ne we need to get home. The parrots are quite noisy here, which is quite good. Pink and greys and corellas. And they're being chased down by some bird of prey. It's a hawk or a kite or something not a bad little camping spot pretty open though we're in the part of the day where the uh, mosquitoes have left us and the flies are just waking up so it's not too bad at the moment the mosquitoes were quite bad down here last night also another factor that drove us to bed Morning. I was wondering where my wife went. I went to take some photos. Bird watching. And I've made her another cup of tea and everything. Oh, right. Oh.
It's mid-morning on a beautiful day and we say our goodbyes to a great bunch of like-minded travellers. That's the end of these stories. Thanks if you've managed to watch all six. There are more adventures on the way so don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. That way you know when the next story is uploaded. Mount Clare Langdon Road. Yeah. Yeah. And then we go left again and then go up very quickly. Oh, you're welcome. I wonder if the bird of prey has noticed. I thought I'd have a quick chat about protection. We've been travelling now for two weeks in all sorts of conditions of roads and uh, some of you might have seen on one of my past videos I had an experience where the rear windscreen of my Land Cruiser uh, got broke by a stone that bounced off the Cub Camper we were hiring at the time and the stone came up, burst the windscreen and you know that was before, well it was probably only a third of the way into the trip so we had to go into Alice Springs get a new windscreen and then cover the windscreen up so it didn't happen again but this time I took precautions so this time I've gone and had a rear windscreen protector made and I've also got a, uh, a bit of netting and some mud flaps or stone flaps at the back of the vehicle firstly to stop the stones from bouncing off anything and if they did then to um, protect the rear windscreen um, we have noticed that last time on gravel roads when we were towing rocks would bounce off whatever we were towing and they would actually bounce along the roof in between the roof rack and the vehicle um, so the stones were actually overtaking us and we might have been doing 100 k's an hour so that's quite far so a bit of a uh, bit of potential energy there to break rear windscreen so I'll show you what we've done and uh, make your own decisions so this is the rear window protector we ha I had made it's got a foam insert it's been canvas on both sides it's locked in with these metal clips and then we've got some Oki straps and some velcro there to hold it into place and it's worked really really well it's a, and this is our uh, rock protection from the back of the vehicle it's got a bit of netting and we've got the um, mud flaps or stone flaps down there I actually had mine backed with a bit of more rubber too so they my thoughts were at speed they might bounce up a bit so the, the weight of that rubber holds it down a bit and holds the stones down. So this has worked really, really well. I did have a problem with the jockey wheel bounced down and um, went all the way down and created a bit of a problem when we went over some of the crawling we did. So I've cable tied that up. And the stone flaps that I had fitted didn't have holes for the um, cable to charge the batteries in the trailer. 
nor the plug for the light. So I've had some holes put in and reinforced so that those cables come straight through and don't have to curl around any bits. Proceed on Carnarvon Muller War Road. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Thank you very much. We listen to an audio book and make our way home to our normal lives. Thank you. 